Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the next episode of the Apex Show. I hope you're doing great. Uh, today is the episode number 102. It, I'm so stacked and so pumped up that uh, actually we are already over 100. Uh, it feels so great and even I feel that's kind of um, just every single episode is at least a bit better in terms of how I'm able to actually express myself and express my thoughts and everything else. It's very interesting just to be able to observe this this trend I, I mean like i'm not saying that i'm perfect or anything like that i just like really the, these things are pointing out to the truth that the more you do the better you get and like just literally looking at your calendar and just dialing in all the things or like just becoming more clear about where you're spending your time and in the end or at the end of the day you really see that all of the things you're spending your time and energy on are growing and what do you want it if where do you see the growth from the day-to-day perspective or no essentially like the growth is happening and in terms of growth and opportunities and everything i was like i was like it's, it's more about just becoming really prepared when the opportunity comes and you never know when the opportunity will come um the opportunity might come right now and or it might come in a few years and and just the more you prepare yourself the the better you get the, the the higher chance you actually have of tackling the goal or tackling the opportunity pretty well. There's one thing that I want to be speaking about today, and that's just kind of like funnel hacking other people. Um, this is maybe a very niche word, I guess, like how to translate it to a different word. Um, like just kind of trying to career hack other people. Like just really, essentially, if there's someone that has certain results that you want to have as well, then pretty much don't mirror the things that he's doing right now, but rather just mirror all of the things that he's been doing all the time. In terms of if you see myself, um, and and like, for example, I'm not sure what's happening. I I mean, I know what I'm doing, but at the same time, like just, I'm in a very jacked physique right now. Natural, um, I'm getting stronger every single day, even though I'm very lean. I'm just like gotten in a, into a very good, very good state of mind and everything else. And if you look at my diet, I pretty much drink like four protein milks or four protein drinks a day, um, like just three protein bars and two slices of meat and a bread. And yeah, maybe like a just kilo of apples and that's pretty much it nothing else and like if you would just like try to mirror this diet i mean like it could take you so 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 far but even in terms of my work and everything else you just like need to do different stuff to get to a certain point than like essentially maintain like maintain maintenance is very easy for me i can work out two days a week and just still maintain the physique i i have right now um but if i'm like supposed to grow up, like there's definitely more more things required in terms of like just really Becoming clear about the inputs and outputs outputs equations, and I, I guess like this is the biggest. There's always the regression to mean in terms of how much time you invest into something and what you get out of that, and it's always about just like, for sure, going for the best opportunity opportunities that you can, like just really becoming pinpointed in your attention of what you're actually pursuing. But then the second high lever lever highest leverage decision that you have to make is actually. Um, okay, like how many opportunities you're going to pursue at the same time, the more opportunities you pursue at the same time, the harder it's going to be and the lower your chance of actually achieving something considerable in terms of um, it's very hard to do two things at the same time. And even today, I, I kind of had the big realization that um, it's it's very interesting, very, very interesting and very important just to follow all of your focus in one direction because you become... You become great. You become someone special in terms of how much value you're able to deliver, and even what, what kind of quality of thought that you can you can create. And important thing to mention here is that there's nothing special in in like for example being jacked and and just doing something mesmerizing in terms of achieving certain success on a day to day basis. I mean, like you just wake up and you pretty much do the work. I mean, like, the work could be manageable for many people. It's the same thing as, okay, um, you go to the gym and you hit a 60-minute workout. And in, it doesn't need to be a workout where you just feel like you're going to die. I'm not having workouts like that. Majority of the workouts I've ever done were like that. Even when I was preparing for, for my bodybuilding competition, I, I pretty much enjoyed the whole process. 
but the thing was that I, I, I sticked, stuck to that every single week, like pretty much just doing that for four to six times a week uh, f without stopping for like seven years now. And all in all, I've been working out for nine years. I started working out like two, two days a week uh, when I was 13 and 14 years old. When I was 15, I opted up to four times a week. Uh, when I was like 17, I, I opted up to six times a week. And since then, I'm, I'm pretty much stuck between four and and um, six times a week. I mean, like based on how much work I have, and um, I ne usually never go before below four because then I pretty much just lo lose my traction. So it's it, it's like just there's nothing that's special about this, rather just the the amount of time that you are able to do this for for such a long period of time, and that's the thing, like. I mean, that, that's that's a thing that, that kind of gives you a lot of confidence in the end. Like, you just kind of reflect on your journey and just know that you've been following this for such a long period of time. And even, like, genuinely, I can really, like, I've been in a, I'm not sure even how to call this mode. I, I guess it's very similar to work mode, where you're just, like, pretty much working all the time uh, since you wake up until you go sleep. Um, today is, like, the... 90 first day I guess uh, pretty much didn't have a single day off the average amount of work that I'm doing every single day is like 15 and a half I mean like today I had like 16 and a half hours um, which is already tracked I mean I'm not sure if I should track it today it's already 2 a.m. in the morning and how do I feel I feel like I feel so focused I feel extremely focused it's, it's a very interesting feeling that you actually like in terms of, and I'm, I don't feel tired. I genuinely don't feel tired. I feel like pumped up, like, okay, look, we're freaking going out. I genuinely feel like I have, it's interesting, like genuinely interesting based on what majority of people would think that after just doing this for such a period, long period of time, you would have to feel tired. You would have to feel just like busted, but I don't feel that. I feel like just okay. I had one hundred. I I had fourteen hundred hours, and I'm like, okay. Like that's great. My goal is to hit ten thousand hours now, within the next few years. I guess um, my goal is to hit it until next sem September. And like there are a few things that I'm really tracking here, and even in terms of, like really becoming more cautious about where I actually invest my time because I know that I don't have unlimited number of shots. Uh, but just really, can I? staying dialed in on, on a certain things that I value the most. Like, for example, like just maintaining a great physique. I mean, like, I genuinely enjoy living a life with a great physique. The reason why, I'm, I'm not sure. Like, I always wanted to get, kind of have, like, the superhero um, physique and just, like, being that kind of a guy. And it's it's great. I just genuinely enjoy that. And I genuinely enjoy working out at my home gym where I usually work out alone. I, I I pretty much just take my notebook there, listen to some courses. I mean, I did that today. Um, in a matter of like 20 minutes, get or 40 minutes, I'm working out. Just get through like two hours of content, of course, content, and and just roll with that. That's the thing. Like, you just have to have to start optimizing your time more. Like today. I today was more educational day where I was like kind of focusing on SOP standard operating procedures and just like building stuff out. Uh, the reason for that because we have kind of like new projects coming up and I just have to kind of become prepared in, in terms of like doing some certain tasks that I didn't do before. And yeah, so eight hours, eight hours and 15 minutes just towards the educational part here today. And or yeah, today pretty much. At 3x speed, you have like, okay, I went through 24 hours of courses. Like, that's great. How much, like, like okay, if a person watches a, a normal course video one hour a day, which he thinks that that's enough uh, and that's sufficient, then pretty much I did that in one day, in half of the day. The other half, I spent working on other stuff. And, and like, these are the things that like, you just keep stacking so much undeniable evidence that you're just freaking doing the work every single day that it just gives you so much confidence that you don't e not even thinking about the results that you're achieving because they're coming themselves. And it's like just regardless of the results that you're achieving, like there's nothing else there because you know that the only way how we can feel, how we can keep feeling this 
sense or this emotion that you're experiencing every single day you should just be experiencing this 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 more and just like doing more as i pretty much told in in november when i was starting this out and i like fully wasn't confident in what i, w I would be actually able to just um make it happen uh, this in this this specific way in terms of just being so freaking focused for such a long period of time i kind of made the decision that i'll just like give it my best shot and in terms of like just being here right now i on one hand i guess like those are the decisions it's like even i'm in a, in a position where i'm just really trying to force myself or not force myself just like to align myself with the, with making decisions that are they're kind of hard, but like the main main point here is that like the main thing that I'm really aiming for is just like, okay, what, what am I really focusing on in terms of like, is it impact or is it profitability or is like, like there are many things that go into the equation of what I should be really focusing my time on. Um, if I like just literally think about the world being a huge bowl, just flying through the space and we are like just little creatures that came out of nothing and living here and not looking at it from the spiritual way if there are any sp spiritual listeners to this podcast which is really just boiling it down to a spirit essence that we're just like some random guys and creatures um that were created just by chance uh flying on a on a rock, piece of rock just <laughs> through our space and just like kind of aligning it with the vision of okay like we are here and we just really want to take it to the next level i mean i guess like yeah like if if we do more um if we produce more if we just if everyone would just kind of be more aligned with each other and just like really go out there like the world would be a better place i guess yeah um that was the first thing. Not sure what else is here. Interesting. Um, I'm I'm really surprised in terms of investing like 900 hours into school. I guess like I I grabbed a lot of skills and stuff. It was pretty hard. I mean, I finished with straight A's except one subject that I didn't that didn't go as planned. Even though I invested like 300 hours into that, and it should have taken like 150. Uh, pretty much, I not 300. I invested. Even if I'm considering the on track time, I guess like maybe 320. Um, and yeah, I dunked it. I mean, I didn't go all right. Like, who cares? Now I'm just really focusing on the stuff that actually matters because that it's it kind of like really pissed me off. And in, in the last few days, you could have probably seen that, that I was just like really um, not up for many things because, um, yeah, I mean, like if you think about that in a life, you have 60 years. Considering my age, 22, so to say, like, if I should live until 82, I have, like, 575,000 hours left. Um, just boiling it down to the hours that I'll be awake, that's 375,000. And if you just, like, really set the stage clear, 1,000 hours is a big, big piece of that. Like, you're not getting these 1,000 hours back. You're just not. Like, regardless of whether you're this, whether you're that... You're just not freaking getting them back, and you can have as much you can have as much money as you want. You can have whatever the heck you want. You're just not freaking getting them back, and like just this kind of pressure just kind of feels like it forces you just to make the right decisions with the limited resources that you have, and the biggest limited resource that you have is time because you're not gonna get more of that. maximizing your inputs and limiting the time and then, then it's kind of like just maybe even exploring it from a different point of view that in terms of like just what's the meaning of life i mean i mean i'm getting into very serious topics here i guess like just not sure why 2 a.m. is making me feel a bit crazy uh, in terms of what kind of dark places of my, of my mind I'm exploring. I guess, like, in terms of life, I guess, like, there's no inherent, inherent meaning of life. I guess, like, if we just really consider ourselves being just random creatures flying on a rock throughout the space, like, 
then yeah, for sure, like nothing really has meaning. Like nothing really has essentially meaning. Like, okay, you're gonna live a great life. Great. You're gonna live a horrible life. Okay, great. Nothing happens. You're gonna die either way. And you're not gonna remember anything. And that's the first part. And the second part is that Nothing's, yeah, just a little blackout here, I guess, uh, almost fall asleep, uh, fell asleep, <laughs> I, yeah, I guess, like, um, it doesn't really matter that much, and, and just, like, take the shots they want to take, it, like, like, there are just so many kind of decisions that you have to wiggle through and just kind of make your way, your own way, um, where you want to go, um, I guess, like, just really being the person who just stand be stands behind his standards, I guess, like, dear, I really feel that it's a very similar feeling that as when you're going on a holiday, that you're just essentially going on a holiday and, like, just trying to like, maximize the pleasure that you're able to get out of the holiday, like, what can you really do? Like, you can only eat that much food, you can only be that much time on, on, on sun or, like, whatever else, and I guess, like, just that's the feeling of life, like, okay, you can, you'll do mistakes, you'll do this, you'll do that, you, you'll do some good things, you'll do some bad things, and in the end, you'll, you'll depart, and <laughs> that's it, um, I mean, like, yeah, so why are we really just categorizing that certain things are great, certain things are not that great? Um, yeah, I guess like after recording this episode, I'll even reconsider many things that I'm currently doing right now just to be able to perceive the value of time even more. In, in terms of like maybe other, another thing, and if you're like just really focused on growth, what I, from my experience, it's just like, if you have a bigger vision of yourself that you're wanting to grow into, in many cases, you'll just grow into that vision faster than you think. And like, just one big thing of that is just like not being surrounded by many people, I guess. Like, I'm even considering going back to Bali because it's kind of like a great community back there. Even though I just hate the infrastructure, I hate everything there. Um, I just like kind of like the community there. I mean, like, what do I hate in Bali? I hate the weather. Okay, I, I can't really, should I really speak like that? I'm not sure. I, I I genuinely like cold countries. I genuinely like, I like to have a great setup in terms of setup where I can work, something something comfortable. I like to be focused. And there is like just a huge chaos. I, I like when I have food that I want. There you are pretty much just, it's it's pretty rough there in terms of getting food. Like you can get some good food here and there, but you usually just take so much freaking time, which I don't have. Um, like just breakfast, okay, one hour here. Uh, dinner, one hour here. I guess like it's it's, really, it's just when you. It's it's even really interesting. I, I'm really considering how I'll be able to reintroduce myself or like the the setup that I currently have back to a normal life. When the, when the time comes, because I'm just like so freaking dialed in, in all aspects that I'm just freaking grinding every single day and just pushing the limits or surpassing my limits that I, um, that I made. It's just like pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah. Like yesterday, 16 hours, 20, 29 minutes today of uh, 16 hours, 52 minutes. Um, day before 16 hours, 14 minutes last week. 116 hours. Um, I mean, like, it's interesting. I'm pretty much just sleeping in my office as well. And, and that's the thing, like, I don't have to do this. But it's genuinely just, like, there's nothing else I want to do than this. And it's, it's a lot of just about working smarter with the materials that you have. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm I'm really curious. Just, just like literally scaling so freaking fast, even with a pretty insignificant amount of time investment. So, 
just really curious well, f where things will go yeah, in terms of my risk assessment i guess like i'll just i just really need to become more risk the opposite of risk averse which means risk seeking i guess like just really seek bigger risks and and opportunities with bigger rewards that's the right word you ne you never you never feel bad for the opportunities that you take and then don't go bad or like that don't work out I have many of those, like just many things that didn't work out the way I wanted. And the ones, even where I lost m most money, and I guess like in many cases, like just looking back at them, they were just so much freaking fun. Um, there was one thing that I did, that I did when I was like 18 or 19, I'm not sure. Um, pretty much just invested like all the money that I had into one opportunity and just went bust. <laughs> even though I felt just so freaking bad at the place, just now looking back, like, me pretty much was creating or like co-founding this startup and like stuff and just going all out uh pretty much is just that well, that was the first time when i was like fully freaking working out uh, working all the time i was just like having 10 meetings every single day just going here going there just like flying around slovakia in, in my car like just so many meetings that i didn't even know what i was doing and like you're just really surpassing my limits and then in the end it didn't work out and like just now looking back it was just so much freaking fun we just i just surpassed my limits i just upgraded my identity to such a higher level and in terms of like just really boiling it down that was a year uh from i would say like until september the 30th uh, from july 1st 2020 until the 30th of september 2021 which was like a span of one and a half years uh, my first serious shot for entrepreneurship I mean like also like just a period of my life where I just really said no to so many things and I, I guess like in that period of my life I just really experienced so much freaking growth more than ever before and the only thing that I actually did was just prioritize work and just like give work more hours and that was even the premise that I had when I was just coming into this part um, in November, just okay. I just like literally many things weren't going the way I wanted them to go. I just like look at these stats and I I I identified like I was just like slacking off. I, I wasn't actually doing the stuff that was producing results, and I just like revamped everything, just threw out many things from my life, and even now I'm like I still have a lot of things I want to just get rid of, and then magically things started going way better. I was really surprised now yeah it's just like things are pretty pretty good in terms of like even what i would say is is my biggest advantage right now is just a pure momentum that i have and i'm building every single day it's very important to say that the momentum is industry specific i i would say like Currently, I'm 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 100% focused on business activities, which means that I'm I'm just have such a huge momentum created here, and in terms of like other activities, I don't really have it created there that much. And I would say like you can only cultivate momentum, pure momentum, just one thing, nothing else. Yeah, I guess that's it. One more thing, um, just to finish off where we started. In terms of if there's someone else who has results that you want to achieve, look at the, the, the all all of the volume that of the work of work that the person has done. In, in terms of like if someone would like to replicate my success in fitness or like just whatever else, okay, just keep in mind that it took me two thousand workouts, like just serious workouts, just to get here. And just keeping this in mind that actually, okay, you, you are willing to do 2000 workouts throughout the period of uh, how many years it takes. Like, I, I mean, like, I would say like, that's a very successful mindset. And in terms of even like comparing myself, like to the people who are at a certain place where I want to get in terms of like, just looking at it from, from the point of view that um, maybe perhaps like just, I just took it different directions because like, even like considering, um, myself and even maybe the perceived person who i am I, I just like literally consider myself to be a successful person from a certain point of view um despite being surrounded by people who are monetarily earning like multiples more 
uh, tens, even more than tens, like 50, 100 times more than I'm earning right now. Not 50 to one, I'm not sure. Fifth, um, I guess like I'm just too tired for math. It's literally like, that's the thing that you, you have to kind of sacrifice all of the side quests for the main quest that you want to achieve. <laughs> because like I've, I've done a lot of stuff and I've been quite a, kind of successful at a lot of stuff like bodybuilding, um, pretty much achieving like a great physique and like just winning championships and stuff. Then like school, <laughs> graduating at the top of my class, um, I, like just getting into one of the most competitive programs programs in Europe in terms of business school, getting into the that damn best business university in terms of marketing, um, traveling the world, like just meeting with people. I mean, like that's so to see business hitting uh, ten figures in income and um, at the age of twenty, yeah, twenty, twenty one. I'm not sure. And like just all of these things. And like essentially now my goal is just to kind of stack it in in one way. It, on the other hand, like for sure, I mean, like these things are kind of taking a certain toll on me in terms of my personal relationships, except the business relationships that I have. Like, I mean, like I like the people I'm working with. Like, I just genuinely like the people, even though I don't have many friends. Like, I just genuinely don't consider friends anyone who's just kind of trying to make me any worse. Like, okay, you're going to go... And, and just like, get drunk. Okay, what? The, why the heck would I do that? Are you you're gonna go and just like hang out with some people who are lower minded and like just think that life and, and just like living in a restaurant and just like having weekends and like just doing some weird crap at school? Like, fuck that. I'm not that kind of a guy. And just now being even more able to express it, like, I just don't really genuinely care about some stupid stuff. I only care about doing stuff that I like and like just me achieving stuff and, and doing some more creating stuff is what I seek. So yeah, um, for me, I guess like the biggest, next biggest, how do you say that? Next biggest achievement milestone is in terms of like just refocusing on hitting my 10K and business. So to say, I just really want to get that experience and everything else just dialed in way better and just just like dial in my focus and results i'm just like super super pumped up about that um in terms of school it's gonna be starting in a month or so uh the last two subjects i'm pretty much just gonna uh, roll with what, what, what i have i'm not shooting for any grades uh anymore i'm just like really getting this done out of the way and um, that is better than perfect. I'm just like really refocusing my attention to other stuff because I'm just really uh, so freaking um, tired of this crap. Um, I'm just like genuinely there's like right now I just genuinely feel that I just made a mistake. I was staying here for years. Um, if I would just like kind of have more because I didn't want to just go to college even though I was 19 and just like trying to figure stuff out. Um, having my mother uh, like just doctor and like just living in a pretty like like just all the situation everything came to the to the ground and I just like literally I just made the decision that I'll go even though like I, I was just like one of the best students like I mean like 2000 applicants I finished like 14th uh, I just like freaking crashed that and like that was the same thing I pretty much just outperformed other people in terms of how much I prepared like you're always going to regress to the mean and that's the thing that I'm reminding myself every day in terms of like just finally finishing this off if there's a guy for example if there's a like so to say um if you want to get good at marketing if like if you, if you know a good marketer let's say russell branson he's founder of click funnels a company that's doing like 200 million dollars in revenue every single year and annual recurring revenue and like just look at him like how much freaking time has he invested into this? He has his first videos posted on a website or you can find him on YouTube of where he's trying to close other people. And they're horrible. They, they're they not working. But in terms of what has he done, he has, he has created countless pages, countless funnels, countless email campaigns, countless like just these things. And there's like in thousands. And that's the thing. If you just have the track record of actually doing this stuff, then you're going to become good at it. And that's even the thing that I genuinely don't don't think that 
there's a better way to learn business and just like to to go <laughs> you don't need anything just go for it like that's the, the the honest advice i would even give to my younger self like you're just gonna learn the stuff by doing this stuff nothing else matters like for example like like just genuinely doing this stuff because that that's even in terms of university, it's so freaking broad. I genuinely, I study marketing, but the marketing part here is just super vague, super broad, that it actually teaches you something that you kind of may, maybe helps you, but in the end, it doesn't really help you to create any results at all because you don't know anything specific and a specific things will create results. Like actually going and taking the stuff that you learn and applying that, but you don't teach, you don't learn that here. Maybe like on a side quest you can, but... I just genuinely don't know how a person can feel great by being an employee and just pissing um, on life and just like genuinely not living it. And that's even like the thing that, okay, great. I'm I'm working pretty much like 16 hours a day, uh, every single day. And like, that's the thing, like, how long are we willing to go? Uh, like, I genuinely don't have any mo- emotions about it. I'm, this. I'm not like, okay, I'm super pumped up. I know that when I achieve something, I'll just feel more worthy. I'm like, just, you have these guys who just like, that. that's kind of the mentality that many people have on the 1st of January, where just like, they go and, okay, this is the day where I'm going to change my life. I stop drinking, I stop doing this. And it, it, in, in a matter of a week, they just like back into their old habits. I just genuinely don't care. And like, I, like maybe you can hear that on me. I, I just, I just genuinely don't care. I'm just like doing this stuff. Um, and I know that if I'll achieve something, it's going to be great. And I mean, I like just benchmark and I, I, I it's like even a quote and it kind of like, I'm pretty much very aligned with the vision of, or even the mindset of Alex or Mosey in, in many ways. Um, you can maybe hear that on me as well, is that I just like genuinely care about leaving nothing in my tank. And that's even the feeling. Like if you just go to sleep every single night and you know that you left nothing in your tank, you feel great. You you just feel great. And that's it. There's if you have nothing in your tank, I mean like that's a great feeling to have. Like just being knowing that there's nothing left that you could have given to the world. And in terms of building big stuff, it takes time. And even like just from my point of view, I know that like regardless of how hard I try, like I, I want to hit my first 10k hours the fastest because they will be the hardest. I already have a few thousand hours behind my back, behind my behind my belt. Yeah, that's the right way, word to say that. Way to say that. With that being said, I know that I can just give more. I, I can do more, and when I do more, I become better. And I just like really want to decrease my depth that I'm paying every single day um, and in terms of not knowing. So I'm just like really trying to become more knowledgeable about about, about the facts I'm so to say working on. So yeah, I, I guess like these are just, just the things I'm, I'm not even sure what I'm uh, investing 33 minutes of, of my day is to, um, just recording a podcast and just breaking down all of the strategy or strategies of what I'm currently doing is the most a valuable contribution to my efforts. Um, as of right now, I just really kind of like it. And even it's just an interesting opportunity for me to be able to speak more and just get better. Yeah. In terms of like, those are the things like, okay, do you have any specific material goals? Like I genuinely know that uh, like just you can accomplish majority of your materials that goes within a year if you just really make the decision a- in terms of like you can do whatever the heck you want you can just like go and travel the whole world like okay that's a goal of mine yeah i want to do that like reason i just want to learn more um i want to like just do these things these things you can pretty much do them and if you do them it up- upgrades your identity and it kind of feels way better when you're just going through life because you kind of have some evidence in terms of what kind of person you are. It kind of makes it a bit more posh, I would say. I'm not sure if this, that's the one word. 
great. I'm going to tie the year. And yeah, um, tomorrow is, is it tomorrow? I mean, it's 2 a.m. So it's today. Um, it's a pretty packed day. So I'm going to be heading to sleep and just recoup for a bit. And yeah, I guess. I mean, I feel great. Like, that's the feeling. Like, you just freaking invest everything that you have. Like, genuinely, there's nothing else that I could have done, I would have done different today uh, based on the information that I have. And that's the thing. Like, you're just, like, kind of figuring stuff out. And based on that, just moving forward. So, and then, like, also life and your cards and everything else that you've been dealt with kind of play into the whole play. And... Um, in the end, where you end up is kind of like just in your destiny uh, because there are also many things that can happen that can derail everything. But yeah, it's just like kind of interesting just to observe observe it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll wrap it up here. It was great speaking to you. Um, this was just a more personal message or um, I'm not sure, I guess, like just documenting the journey and everything else. Um, I'm feeling great. I'm feeling really great right now whatever i'm just like freaking 22 years old doing the whatever the heck i want and just knowing that in the next 10 years i'll become even something way better so um yeah i'm gonna catch you in the next one and have a great one in the meantime i wish you a great day great evening or perhaps great morning when you're listening to this